Welcome to Edupedia World. In this video, we will discuss about how to calculate missing frequencies and graphical location of median. First, we will learn the calculation of missing frequency. In the cases when frequency or frequencies of given sets of data are missing, the formula for calculating median is used. We donate missing frequency or frequencies by F1, F2 as required in the question. We solve it mathematically and find the missing values of frequency. Let us understand this with the help of a following illustration. In this we have provided with the data of monthly salary of 900 workers. Frequencies of two class intervals are missing. That you can see that in 40 to 50 and 60 to 70. We have to locate these frequency if the median of the series is rupees 59.25. Let us start with making the table of three column. In the first column we will write the salaries which is denoted by letter X. In the second column we will write the number of employees that is frequency denoted by letter F. In the third column we will write cumulative frequency which is denoted by CF. Let F1 and F2 be the frequencies of the classes 40 to 50 and 60 to 70 respectively. We will calculate them mathematically using median. So in the first column we will write the class intervals that is 30 to 40, 40 to 50 and so on. In the second column we will write the frequencies. In place of missing frequencies we will write F1 and F2 as you can see in class interval 40 to 50 and 60 to 70. In the third column, we will write cumulative frequency. We will just add up the frequencies. That is in the first row, we will write 120. In the second row, we will write 120 plus F1 as the frequency is missing. In the third row, we will write 320 that is 200 plus 120 which comes 320 plus F1. In the fourth row, we will write 320 plus F1 plus F2 as the frequency is missing. And in the last row, we will 900, which is already given in the question. So, n is equals to 900, which is number of observation. Here, n is equals to 900. n, that is number of observation, is already given in the question. Now, we will calculate median, that is, m is equals to size of n by 2 item. Here, n is 900, so size of 900 by 2 item will come 450th item. As we have seen in the previous table that 450th item lies in the group of 50 to 60. And the median is already given in the question that is 59.25. Now we will calculate median with the help of the following data that is L1 is equal to 50. L1 stands for lower class interval. So in the class interval of 50 to 60, 50 will be the L1. CF is the cumulative frequency which is preceding that particular class interval. So it will be 120 plus F1. Frequency is equal to 200 is the particular frequency of class interval 50 to 60 and I is the class interval that is 10. So now we will write the formula of median that is L1 plus N by 2 minus CF whole divided by F into I and we will put the values in the particular places that in place of median we will write 59.25 as it is already given in the question and we will put other values as we have already discussed. By calculating it we will get F1 which is 145. In the previous slide we have calculated F1 which is 145. Now from summation of frequencies we have 120 plus F1 plus 200 plus F2 plus 185 equals to 900. That is number of observation of this particular illustration. Now we got the value of F1. So we will put the value of F1 in place of F1 now. 120 plus 145 plus 200 plus F2 plus 185 is equals to 900. After calculating it mathematically, we will get F2 which is equal to 250. 
So frequency of class interval 40 to 50 is 145 and frequency of class interval 60 to 70 which is F2 is equals to 250. This is how we will calculate missing frequencies in median. Next we come to graphic location of median. Median can be easily located graphically with the help of OGIF that is cumulative frequency curve. This can be done with the help of less than and more than OGIF. In short, first we will discuss how less than and more than OGIF is calculated. Less than OGIF, frequencies are added starting from upper limit of the first class interval. Then frequencies are marked against upper limits of the concerned class intervals. Then we find out the n by 2 item and mark it on y axis. From this mark, a perpendicular is drawn in the right to intersect the OGIF at some point. From this point, for example, we called it E, a perpendicular is drawn on X axis and we'll mark it F. This point F indicates the value of median. Similarly, in more than OGIF, frequencies are added starting from lower limit of the first class interval. Then frequencies are marked against the lower limit of the concerned class interval. And we locate median graphically with the same procedure as we have discussed in the less than OGIV method. We have to discuss both less than OGIV method and more than OGIV method. In this we draw both the OGIVs on the same graph paper. The two curves will intersect each other at point E. From this point a perpendicular is drawn to the X axis which indicates the value of median. Let's understand this with the help of following illustration. We have to locate the median of the following data using both less than and more than OGIF method. The data is provided of sales and about number of sellers. In order to calculate median by less than and more than OGIF method, we have to convert the series in cumulative frequency of less than and more than series. As you can see in the table, in the first two columns, we have converted cumulative series for the less than OGIF method. That is, we have added up the frequencies, that is 12, 12 plus 18, which comes 30, 30 plus 35, which comes 65, and so on till we get to 30. And in the second set of columns, we have made it in more than OGIF method which means we have deducted from the cumulative frequency 230 is the total number of observation we have deducted 12 from 230 we get 218 for the second row then we have deducted 18 from 218 we got 200 this is how we'll keep on deducting till we got the last frequency that is 8 this is how we'll calculate less than and more than cumulative frequency for the particular series. Now we will plot the data on the graph paper that we have calculated in the previous slide in the table. To start with first we will write the heading that is graphic location of median. Scale is 1 cm equals to rupees 500 on x axis and 1 cm equals to 64 sellers on y axis. First we will draw two OGIV less than and more than from the data which we have already calculated in the previous table. Now from the point of intersection of the two OGIVs we will draw a line parallel to the y axis. The point where the line cuts the x axis is the median value. Now in this particular graph from the point of intersection that is point E, a perpendicular is drawn on the x axis. The dotted line cuts the x axis at rupees 2080. Hence the median is rupees 2080 for this particular illustration. This is how we will calculate median with the help of less than 
and more than augive method thank you for watching edupedia world videos